Hello and welcome to this edition of the All Things Wild Creature Feature, a series in which I talk about some of the amazing animals that we get to share this planet with. Now last time we talked about the differences between Asian and African elephants. But did you know that there used to be far more than just the two elephantine pachyderm species that call this planet home? In fact, elephants have been more or less on this planet for at least 60 million years. Don't believe me? Come along and let's see. There have been dozens of different cousins to the elephants and direct ancestors along the 60 million years of their evolution. The first was this guy here, Phasmotherium. Now, if that doesn't look very elephant-like, you'd be correct. It is hard to say if this is a direct ancestor that leads directly to today's elephants, but based on the shape of its molars, we know that this is one of the earliest recognized elephant ancestors known to, to modern science. And Phasmotherium wasn't much bigger than a house cat. Crazy, right? little tiny Phasmotherium would someday lead to the six and seven ton elephants that we have today and the 11 ton mammoths that would come later, but that's for another video. Another one of the elephant's early cousins was this guy here, the Gomphotherium. Uh, it's a mouthful, so I apologize. The Gomphotherium. Whew. I've actually seen fossils of this animal when I went to the John Day fossil beds and the Thomas Cotton Paleontology Center up in Oregon. Now, Gumphotherium had very distinctive lower tusks, and it's often referred to as a shovel tusked elephant. Now, because Gumphotherium inhabited swamplands of the Americas, Africa, Europe, and Asia of about 15 million to 5 million years ago, it's theorized that it used those shovel tusks to dig up aquatic plant life from marsh beds and it would feast upon those, as opposed to going into the grasslands of the woodlands to feed on grass, leaves, or tree bark. Another unusual ancient cousin to the elephants is this guy here, Dinotherium. And now Dinotherium lived in Africa, and Dinotherium evolved some 10 million years ago and lasted up until about 11,000 years ago. And like the Gumphotherium, it had very distinctive lower tusks. It didn't have upper tusks at all like modern elephants. It had those sort of dagger-like downward protruding tusks from its lower jaw. And this was so unusual when it was first discovered that scientists were convinced that when they were recreating the skeleton of this animal that they kept getting it wrong because how could those possibly work coming straight down? And there is no clear answer as to what Dinotherium used those lower tusks for, but it is theorized that it used the tusks to dig into the ground after roots and tubers. There are many other dozens of cousins and ancestors of the elephant, but that's for another video. Thank you so much for joining for this creature feature. I really appreciate it. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends. Follow us on Facebook. The link is in the description. This has been Zach for All Things Wild, and as always, have a wild day, everyone.